let's discuss the two different tactics that you can use to maneuver around the VA minimum property requirements and maintain your closing window when the licensed contractor cannot get out there in a reasonable amount of time. So stand by to get some. My name is Brad Stinson, the Mortgage Marine. In a previous video, we discussed VA minimum property requirements. So when the appraiser goes out to the property, they inspect the property, and the appraisal report comes back with those two words we all dread to hear, subject to. Well, if we have a 30-day close window and you have to scrape and peel and paint the exterior of the house and you live in the state of Michigan and it's negative two degrees outside, it's been this way for two weeks and it's going to be this way for the foreseeable future, how in the world are you going to pass this subject to repairs in order to get into the house? Great question. Two tactics. Here's the first one. It comes directly from chapter 12 of the VA lender handbook. And this is simply, we're going to request a waiver from the VA to waive the MPRs. That is that easy. Now this one is not more commonly known and it's not commonly done, but who you work with matters. And that is everything in this market. So what is involved with this? First off, the, the request must come from the veteran and it's in writing. Second, the lender has to agree with the veteran's decision. And lastly, the house must be immediately habitable from a structural soundness standpoint and a sanitary standpoint. Safety issues are not allowed to be submitted and will not be approved. The second option, and this seems to be the more common of the two, an escrow holdback for repair. This is detailed out in chapter nine of the VA lender handbook. And what this is, is this is the VA may permit an escrow of funds to complete the necessary repairs at a future later date. And what this is, is the VA may permit an escrow of funds to complete the necessary repairs at a future later date due to weather or other circumstances. So weather, great, great example, state of Michigan, it has not been over 48 degrees since October, and it will not raise above 48 degrees for more than 24 hours until the end of April, more like May. So how in the world are you gonna buy a house in the wintertime and paint the exterior of the house? You can't. So you have to do what's called an escrow holdback for repairs so that we can maintain a 30 day close window, get you into the house, save the face of the VA home loan, and get that, that repair completed down the line. So what's involved with this? We send a licensed contractor out to the property. They provide a quote that has cost of labor, cost of material, and any other costs associated with the repairs. From there, that invoice is sent to the lender. The lender will approve it or deny it. If they approve it, we must hold 1.5% of the invoice that the licensed contractor provided. This is held by a third party. Typically it's your title company. And once the weather gets above 48 degrees and we can paint on the exterior of a house, the licensed contractor or painter goes out to the property, completes the repairs, lets us know we order the appraisal reinspect because paint issues is the only one we cannot self-certify. Once the appraiser signs off on it, the funds are released to the licensed contractor, anything above and beyond what is not used to pay the contractor goes back to whoever was paying for the repairs in the first place. So again, my stance of the VA home loan is the most lenient and flexible for an eligible veteran. And it's our duty to make sure veterans get into the VA home loan, use it and change the perception of the VA home loan in the marketplace. My name is Brad Stinson, the Mortgage Marine. Have a great week, Semper Fi, and get after it.